I just realised. Two of the games that I've got on the table to talk about in the next few uh, Game of Day videos are games that I was just disappointed with. So let's pick one of them now. Dissidia, Final Fantasy NT. I've gone on record multiple times talking about Dissidia. Talking about Final Fantasy. My friends, they're probably sick of me talking about Final Fantasy. The Dissidia games, they're a cross between like a, a fighter, a fighting game, and Final Fantasy's like battle system. Dissidia on the PSP, great game, really enjoyable. It was one of those games that I had to order internationally to get for my PSP because we didn't have any in stock and I wanted the collector's edition one so I did that the city do a day some or however you pronounce that the next one that came out still on the PSP guess what I had to do I had to order that internationally to get the collector's edition because we didn't have any in stock around my local area. Love that game too. Got those two games, both collector's editions. Both came with little bonuses. Loved them. Couldn't get enough of them. On the PlayStation 4, first home video console release. Cydia, Final Fantasy, NT. Home console release. Full screen TV. Controller in hand. Sitting back. Not squinting at a little screen. This full high definition. The game. It was supposed to be the chosen one. And what did we get? Disappointment. This game. The first second I saw that it was coming out, I pre-ordered it. And I went, I'm getting the collector's edition version of it. Not that there really was one. It came with a steelbook and DLC or something. <sighs> this steelbook looks amazing. I love it. It's so beautiful. On the inside. On the inside. Look at this. Look at this. You've got the Warrior of Light here, and you got some swords. You got the Squall's Gunblade thing. You've got whatever character, Furion, the, the, I can't, no, I don't know who's, I think it's his sword, I don't know whose sword it is. And you have this sword that's cut off that I can't even say, I think that's, I think, I think that was lightning sword. I, I can't tell. It's a, what am I talking about? I'm just trying to find something to talk about because I don't like this game. I've said multiple times that Final Fantasy is my favourite franchise. I've seen all the movies. I've purchased multiple things of it. I've got, like, you know, an original copy for the PlayStation 2 of Final Fantasy X. I've got the remaster on PlayStation 3. I've got the remaster on PlayStation 4. I've almost considered buying it on the Switch. I love Final Fantasy. I've got digital copies. I've got physical copies. I went to Japan and went, I don't have a physical copy of 9. I've got a digital copy. I've got two digital copies now. I've got it on PlayStation and I've got it on the Switch. I didn't have a physical copy of Final Fantasy 9. So what did I do? When I was in Japan, I spent four bucks and purchased the physical copy of Final Fantasy 9 on the PlayStation 1. Point being, I've spent a lot of money on Final Fantasy and it's one of my favourite franchises. I will defend Final Fantasy XV to my grave. It is amazing. Final Fantasy XIII, great game. Final Fantasy, the city of Final Fantasy NT. Broke my heart. I loved the other games. I loved those two games. This game, this game, it just disappointed me. Shifted everything into like some online multiplayer experience. There was no real story. 
the story was sitting there and listening to crap on about something for a while, and then eventually you did some little battle thing here or there, or you had to earn enough points online. I don't know, maybe they've overhauled that in an update since. But when I sat down to play this, I waited for ages for this to install. I left my PlayStation updating on my slow internet at the time, because there was a patch. Day one patch, of course. And back when this came out, I didn't have my MBN connection. I had ridiculously slow download speeds. My download was like 3 Mbps. M I think that's what it is. M yeah. Whatever it is. Megabits per second. I waited. All night for that to download. I went out for the night to let it download. I came home and it hadn't even finished downloading. I left it on throughout the night. Woke up. Still hadn't finished downloading. Sat there till like midday. Finally, it had installed. Got on to play it. And then it wanted me to play online with people. I'm like, okay. I want to play solo, man. I want to play the story. It wanted me to play online with people. I was disappointed. I was just, I, I'm going to look up a rating right now. Let's see, what did the reviews get for this? Come on, let's have a look. Because I was very disappointed with this game. This is one of those games, and my internet's gone out, yay. This is one of those games where I just... I don't... I, I wanted more from it. The studio... Final Fantasy NT. I... 6 out of 10. 67%. 4 out of 5. Why is 4 out of 5? That's ridiculous. It's not that good. I don't know. Has the gameplay changed? That's what I want to know, because if it has, I might go back. I might go back and have a look. There's a free-to-play version. Obviously, people weren't buying it. I paid, like, 100 bucks for this game. Within weeks, I saw it down to, like, $20 at stores as well. This is, like, another one of those Fallout 76 things, where they had a full price, and then you go and buy it full price, and then everywhere you see it is ridiculously cheap because no one wants to play it. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, here you go. The City of NT is a fighting game. It's a follow-up to the City of Final Fantasy and the City of 012 Final Fantasy. And similarly follows players to battle one another using many characters from Final Fantasy. The game is a console port of the 2015 Japanese arcade game. Dissidia, Final Fantasy. Hmm. So it was a port. Gameplay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Tactical battles. Yeah, sure. Unlike past Dissidia titles, NT places a focus on 3-on-3 three -three combat. Sure, that's great. With players actively controlling one character at a time. I could deal with that. But you got to make it interesting. You have to make the whole thing interesting. Ugh, what else? Come on. Participating in online and offline battles will earn experience points to increase their player level. Yeah, whatever, I didn't get that far to understand it. Plot. Who cares about the plot? Reception. Reception. Here we go, let's have a look. The original arcade game called The City of Final Fantasy sold 3,000 arcade cabinets. That's great. PlayStation 4 sold 105,667 copies in the first week of sales in Japan, making it the best-selling game of the week in the country. Did nothing else come out? <sighs> I don't know. I just... It's giving me no detail. I just... I was just so disappointed, but apparently... Apparently, you look at these reviews, and what, what have we got? 67 out of 100, yeah. 7 out of 10. 5 out of 10, that's more like it. 7 out of 10. 35 out of 40. 6 out of 10. 3 out of 5 stars. Like, it's such a mix. The game was just... It was bland. It was bland. It looked beautiful. But it didn't play like the others. That's my tale of woe for you today. As a Final Fantasy lover, I can't recommend this game. I cannot recommend this game. 
and I can't believe I'm saying that about a Final Fantasy game. I'd recommend every Final Fantasy game, except that one. Except that one. So unfortunately, it's one of those games that probably will never get played again by me. I might try it again, make a video of it, see how I go. But until then, it it just it disappointed me. It disappointed me. I don't know what to say to it. I just... I wish there was more. Focus on my face camera. What's going on? I just wish there was more to it. It was one of those games that... I, I was just... I'm very disappointed with because I expected a lot more playing the previous two games on a portable system. When it goes to a console, it should be better. But... I guess that's how it is. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, I hope you have a good day. Catch you then.